Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the wonderful, the great, the murderous, the deadly, the awesome Ottoman Empire. Oh, my. This series is about to go uh, to the dogs. <laughs> and I mean that quite not literally at all, because we're not fighting dogs, because that would be weird. So, yeah, um, we had decided to move our armies from the European front into a Middle Eastern front, and uh, kind of fight on our own grounds. Just try to get some of these countries back from our borders and stuff. Maybe uh, defeat Iran and help. And uh, kind of move to the east into uh, Asian territories. And maybe south a little bit into... Um, possibly into northern Africa. Depends on how hostile e uh, Egypt is to us once we get there. Um, but it all depends on how what happens after we beat Jordan... But first things first, we're going to go against the Georgia Republic because they're the kind of in-between annoying things between um, my allies, Northern Caucus in the north, uh, and us, the homeland in the south. And I'm going to do this uh, kind of like I did with Milan. Uh, I'm going to take a force down, which currently is down here, and I'm going to move it uh, a little... I'm going to move it north, and there's 41 units in total, and I'm going to set them there. And uh, I'm going to move my main force, of course, down and around. Uh, so, yeah, that's what's going to happen there. Uh, before I get too far into it, though, uh, I would like to say that there's a link in the description to my second channel that I set up. And I'm doing uh, fairly daily videos, probably not very daily, though, on that channel of uh, different games. Not necessarily Supreme Ruler, but uh, multiple different games and stuff. And uh, just stuff I want to do, I guess. Just games and whatnot that I feel like I I want to do, and yeah, that's about it. So, that's what's going on with that, and I think these are all headed there as well, but we'll entrench them. So let's get this going. But yeah, I will uh, post a link in the description uh, of this video to um, let you guys know of that. Now, our troops are still repairing from fighting uh, Moscow, and uh, that's where we're, why we're up here. There's a large military up here too, by the way. Very, very large military. Because when we defeated the Moscow, they still had a military left. Um, they were just kind of keeping it from us. I'm going to repair these as well. I also, I think I got out of it, yeah, I got uh, a couple of aircraft fabrications as well. Which, uh, if you guys didn't know, that was something we were desperate for and actually built some uh, of down in the former Balkans and are still building. They're almost finished. So it's nice to know that uh, we have more in uh, <coughs> Northern Europe. Because, yeah, Asia starts about here, if you didn't know. I hope these guys are headed on their way back now, too. <laughs> Yeah, they're fighting uh, Volgograd, by the looks of it. Not doing too well at it, though. Although now they can focus their troops on that, and they have a lot of troops. A lot of troops, if they really want to... Uh, if they really want to fight Volgograd and do it successfully, they can. It'll be interesting to see, though. I like how the Swedes get a lot of land as well. Got... Silvondorf is a bad Something I can't pronounce. Trench there. I think that's most of them. Yeah, there's a couple repairing here, but I think we're going to leave them uh, here. I do believe we have more than enough units. So we're going to take them and trench them there. And for some reason, our fighters are sitting in there. Uh, we'll throw them back in here. I guess. We don't have our uh, Air Force organized by any means. Most of our fighters are around, but just not uh, organized into one main fighting force, which concerns me a little bit. Because if I need an Air Force, I can't find my... Uh, it's small, but it's there. And it's not... Uh, again, it's also small, but it's very, very tough. These are, like, you know, falcons and typhoons, like, high-end, uh, very high-end aircraft. 
and I had, I think, yeah, there was a production facility here. New base remains inactive. Agree. Ah, so we had one of our aircraft, two of our aircraft fabrications are inactive because we don't have the any of the military for them. We have 8,000 reservist staff. Let's pour more money into the military. See if we can't get that up a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Our uh, daily stocks are not going to like that very much. We'll bring down social funding a little bit. And the tax rate's already high, so kind of our uh, hands are tied there, unfortunately. We also have an Air Force... Oh, wait, yeah, England. England has control of all that stuff. We don't have control of any of that. Although we do have a couple of aircraft, but they're all transports except for one. And we'll move that fighter over. Try to gather our Air Force a little bit while our main one moves around. Do, 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 do. Wait, what? Are those Slovenians or Slovakians? Slovenians, what are they doing there? Who are they at war with? You're not at war with anybody anymore. Move your troops back, dumbasses. Protect your homeland before you protect my own land. Not that I don't appreciate it or anything, but, like, come on, man. Protect your own ass before you protect my ass. More of that. These will stay there. Oh, we did produce carriers. Oh, yeah, we should probably stop producing those. <laughs> uh, actually, what are we producing this way-wise? Oh, good, okay, we're producing a mix of tanks and uh, armored vehicles. That's good, that's what I want to produce. Eurofighter Typhoons, which is good because I need fighters. Uh, naval, we don't have very many naval. We're still producing a Queen Elizabeth. That's actually coming close to finishing, which is good. Producing some DDGs, destroyers and frigates. Uh, that's good, that's what we need. Oh, we're just producing another Queen Elizabeth. Well, all right. Uh, Missile-wise, bullpups. Bullpups are good missiles. We want to definitely... And free falls. Oh, okay. Okay, so we are producing missiles. That's good. Although, I would like to... Um, now that we have Mediterranean control, I guess... And we're not building anything, are we? Uh, do we need to? No. Besides electrical power, we're positive and everything. Yep. Produce 100% of capacity, guys. 100% of capacity. We can use the reserves when it comes down to it. Because if we happen to get low in everything, we're going to need it. Capacity, 100% capacity, 100% of capacity, good. Okay, so. Um, since we're not building anything, let's build... Because, uh, like, the countries I'm about to take over and stuff, they don't have any uh, naval production at all. And I'm going to need some naval production, uh, and 10, 10 isn't producing me a big enough military to possibly take on, or military, um, navy to really take on, uh, what I'm gonna have to take on navally when I get into the African states, because the Africans do have, uh, some annoying navies, um, and so will some, a lot of Asian countries, like, if I start taking over India, and I've got to get somewhere, I'm gonna have to fight through that. So, <laughs> A navy would be nice, and I'm not taking over in India anytime soon, so if I ever happen to get into a fight with them, I would like to be prepared. Um, so I'm going to make those production facilities. I can declare war on Cyprus. I really kind of want to, to be honest. Hmm. Is it bad that I'm really, really tempted? No, it's not. Go oh my amazing. <laughs> All right. Now let's uh, aerial bomb them. Aerial attacks. Yes, look at the explosions of other troops. 
Wow, we're actually doing really bad damage to them. Oh, here comes a patrol aircraft. Good job, patrol aircraft. Wow, we really hurt them badly there. Stay in front of their spin. Wow, those troops are like, we should load into their frigates coming in. Troops moving out. Wow. Wow, those patents are really beat up. Although so is my Air Force. I do like bombarding them, though. It's fun. Did any of them come back here? Oh, they did. Ooh, a lot of them did. We'll bomb them again, and maybe we can actually do a sea invasion of them. Um, maybe that's a possibility. And then we can just build uh, fabrications there. If we can actually, like, destroy their military completely. Because they've got no supplies, realistically speaking, here. And they have a seep here in their capital as well. And they can't they can't repair it though, that's the only problem. Continue bombing them. I never said to stop. Hmm. Let's see if we can't uh do some damage with our ships that way. Maybe they can do some bombardment stuff. Because they're actually bombing that uh, coastline pretty hard. Wow, we've completely surrounded them uh, navally. That's pretty funny, actually. Don't stay in there too long, hey, Balad. We don't want to get blown up. Yeah, that's right. Go back, go back, fall back. Good job. And they're going to hit that capital really hard. They are hitting that capital really hard. Hell, continue bombing them. This isn't what I had planned for this episode, but it's what's happening, so... I wonder if I could land troops in uh, Paphos. Let's try. Troops are lined up there. Let's get them over here. Get over there. Don't need you. Don't need you. You can get over there too. Get most of these over here as well. And I can send uh, units into there. And maybe take over Cyprus. That'd be an interesting episode, taking over Cyprus. Considering our aircraft are now bombing it without having much of a problem. Like, we're blowing the crap out of them. We don't have very many planes to do it with, though. It's the only thing that sucks. So I don't have a big enough air force to really, uh mess with that. Well, there's some planes here. Get over there. And send that into repair. And then we can load these into it. Load into carrier. Brilliant. Okay. Now let's move the carrier down there. Are those troops in there now? No. Not all of them. Where are those tanks? There was a lot of tanks I had headed that way. 
Screw it. Just we'll send this uh, force. I don't know where those tanks ended up. Oh well. It's fine, it's fine, whatever. So what do we have here? A couple of militias. Can't have those in existence. So we'll bomb them. And then we'll be done aerial attacks. Won't have to worry about those anymore. I won't have to worry about anything really hitting this either. Because all the Cypress ships have been destroyed. They have no uh, naval forces anymore. So let's see if we can unload in uh, Paphos. Paphos. Evidently not. Well, let's see if we can unload at that seep here. Let's unload there. Is that a seep here? So it should be able to. Yeah, it will. Full attack, full attack, take the town. If we can take the town, we can take it. If we can take the town, we're okay, because we're going to have a barracks sitting there, and then we're fine. We have nothing really to worry about. I just hope we don't run out of supply. Because then we have Cyprus, if we can take this town. There's no way they can uh, deny that, because I can just fuel troops into there. Fuel a couple more if I need it. Although I don't think I will. Towns. Oh wow, Cyprus surrendered. So we got their tanks as well. We got any of the surviving troops. Well, that was... that was easy. Well, once that barracks repairs... Alright, so let's build... Uh, military... And... Naval Fabrications... And we can't, because there's no supply. <laughs> Gotta wait a couple days, it looks like, for supply to go in. And then we can... Oh, I like how those tanks are like... Shit! We could have fucked that, man. It's not even cool, man. Yeah, well, you'll find something else to do soon. Okay, so... And those tanks are arriving from Moscow, and we can declare war on... the wonderful country of this. Uh, Georgia Republic. That's it. Now, what we'll do with these troops, actually, is I'm going to move them... here. And I'm going to move them into that town there of Sakumi, and then... Hopefully these troops here will go after them, and then I can move these this core here up, and then it'll be okay. And then uh, after we take them, probably take Azerbaijan. I don't see a reason why not to, but I also really don't see a reason to. So maybe we'll leave them alone, or maybe we'll like take over that town, and then fight them off as entrenched and then come out of Entrenched and then head towards their capital, that could work. I think that's a feasible idea. Alright, so those troops are in... Oh. In position. We'll move those guys there. We'll have them take over that ore mine, I guess. Somalia? By who? Oh, okay. And apparently Tanzania, too. And a little bit of Kenya. Yep. Okay. Seems like Ethiopia is making itself a little empire. Because it took over Djibouti already. South Africans doing the same? Uh, yeah, they're having a hard time, though. Although they're going after Nambia pretty hard. Angolia should be interesting. And they're fighting Zambia as well. And Zimbabwe. I don't know if they can fight a war like that. I don't think they... I don't know if they have the troops... Oh, well, whatever. It's Africa. I forgot. I don't have to worry about it. Not for a while, anyway. Alright, so... Declare war on the Georgia Republic. Oh, they're gonna move those troops that way. Fun. I love how just bombarding it, we've almost killed that tank. Ah, uh, these mountains are gonna be a bitch. Oh, shit, they're moving their troops over there. Ignore me! Ah, oh, crap, they're not going to ignore me. Oh, I hope those three tanks can hold that off long enough. Fight their capital, men. Fight their capital. Move those tr tanks in there. 
Uh, good, I'm getting reinforcements. I love how my navy comes, too. They're like, we're gonna help. Is that okay? And I'm like, no. Not really. At least there's a barracks right there. I know where the troops are going to repair, and we've almost got this anyway. We did split their troops enough where it matters. We split it where it matters. And that's that's all we needed to do. We'll split it where it matters. Hold out uh, a line for as long as possible. And all I had to do is just keep those tanks holding that. They're all retreating. We've taken their capital already. We're fighting off anything that's here in a village there. They're all retreating because they've got nothing. It's ours. That was... Uh, that's how you do it, boys. That's how you do it. And <laughs> this troop here, these things, they are coming up. Uh, we'll send all of these to uh, repair somewhere. No, they don't really have many barracks, do they? Uh, that's still being built. Tel Um We'll just we'll, we'll zoom all of these in. We're gonna need these guys anyway uh, when it comes down to it. So we'll send those guys back down that way. These guys are all destroyed. We'll send these guys into repair there. And uh, that's it for this episode, though. Um, these guys here are going to kind of reorganize themselves, I guess. And uh, find spots to be. Places to go, places to repair. Don't really know what they're doing. Weirdos. We'll entrench them here. Now, next episode, they're going to go after Azerbaijan or the Iranians, and I see intense fighting starting to happen between my Saudi allies and Turkmenistan and the Iranians, so may go after Iran just to kind of help them out first, and then we'll have Azerbaijan completely sandwiched. So, um, yeah. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Peace.